Bruins bounced back in one game six, forcing a game seven in the Stanley Cup final. There was no chance that the Bruins were going to lose three straight games to the Blues. No chance. I wanted to go to Twin River and make a big bet on it. Should have, didn't. The first line woke up. The first line produced. And more importantly, Tuka Rask was still Tuka Rask and was still the most important player on the ice. They thwarted the St. Louis power plays and they had a lot of them. And Rask, once again, was dominant. He needs to do it one more time. I can't imagine a team that lost two games in this series, one seven to two, one five to one at home with the cup on the line in the building is going to find a way to win this series. I just can't see it. Bruins in seven. At home, they find a way. Tuka Rask hasn't given up a goal like Jordan Bennington did to Brandon Carlo last night at any point during this playoff run. I, I just can't see Bennington prevailing over a guy like Rask with the effort that Rask has put forth. I can't see it. I just don't see it happening. I see Rask being better in the biggest moment. He's been that way the whole playoff run. I don't feel nervous. I probably should, but I don't. I just think this is the Bruins one to win. We know what championship team look like. We know what their runs look like. This is the Bruins one to win. I just can't see the Blues winning it. They've been blown out twice in the series. This is not the better team. The better team usually wins seven game series and the Bruins have been that team. They're not in a place where they're going to get upset. And finally, David Ortiz getting shot is obviously horrendous news. What else can you say? Prayers. We wish him the best. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.